Hello everyone, welcome back to part 4 of the instalments of quests that can give you some combat skill points. Now before I start, I will just say apologies, this has taken a lot longer to get out than I thought. And there's a couple of reasons behind that. One, I've been away for work, which is obviously always fun, but takes me away from obviously BDO for quite a while. And two, actually, I've just got a new puppy with my wife. So we've had our hands absolutely full at the moment. And I do apologise because it has sort of came out of the time that I normally spend putting videos together anyway i hope it's not too bad for you but it's out now so hopefully you can use these 10 quests i've got here for 12 combat skill points that's going to be worth it and of course as i say every other time if you haven't already seen it go to parts one two and three there are some really simple quests which can really help you get some easy combat skill points and i really do mean easy especially if you've done some of the work on a main anyway have a watch and enjoy and also I will just say it again there are taboos tips out now and if there's anything you can think of or something which you need to help describing on how to play or how to do something just say and I'm happy to do it. I'll have a few ideas coming in and I've been working on some other things as well but that's all up and coming. Anyway enjoy the video guys. So, for not all spotted deer are the same, we're going to look for the NPC called Soldier. Now, the Soldier is actually, I'd say, west of the Bree Tree Ruins. And he's the only NPC there who's going to give you a quest when you go to him. Now, this quest is really quite easy and straightforward. And if you're doing this on an alt, you've probably already done the hard work. But when you speak to him, he's going to ask you to go get some knowledge on the spotted deers which are possessed by the Black Spirit. Now, at a first glance, these look very similar to the other ones. But when you look on your mini-map, you're going to see them pop up as orange dots and not red. And it's really, really quick and simple. And as you see, one combat skill point for doing very little work. So hey, we all like that. More combat skill points for very little work. Yes, please. So, for the quest, a simple problem. This is really, really quite a simple one, actually, and something that I can't believe I skipped by when levelling. In fact, I can because this character was try well, I tried to power level it, but hey. Anyway, you're going to go east of Delph Knight's castle, and you'll see this little encampment here. Now, you're going to try and speak to the guy at the back who's in the tent, and he's called Rescue Leader. And the NPC is going to give you a quest called A Simple Problem. Now, to do this quest, you must have completed the Suppression Demonstration Start. Now, if you've been following on from the guides previously, you'd have already done this anyway. But once you have this quest, it's a really simple one. You just have to go over to the Kuto place, and you have to kill... I think five young Karutos and five Karuto soldiers. Pretty simple, and as you see, you'll get through it very, very quick. Now, the best part about this quest, again, you're not doing too much work. Ten kills, really, and you're going to get one whole combat skill point for doing really, really little work. And, okay, maybe it's not as good as the other ones when you have to find knowledge, but hey, it's always fun to go have a run around and do something for the old time's sake. But yeah, there you go. Kill ten mobs, get one combat skill point. Easy peasy. I cannot believe how easy that was. And once again, another easy quest coming up here, guys. We're in the exact same camp, again, west of the Delph Knight Castle, and we're still in that little encampment area. But this time, we're going to go to the really tall soldier. Now, when you speak to him, he's going to hopefully have a quest for you called Dangerous Build. And again, not to repeat myself, but you have to have done Suppression Demonstration Start, but you've already done that anyway. This quest, again, really, really simple. Run over to the Kruto area, and you just have to kill three of the elite soldiers. Now, the elite soldiers are the ones that hold the big sort of discus shields, or two of them. And I'm really intrigued to see how they're supposed to use these, really, to fight as weapons, because it's like having two trash can tops in your hand, and they're trying to smack you with them. It's so strange, but hey, this is BDO. It's not the strangest thing out there. And in fact, I'm pretty sure on this list we are going to go to Marnie's lab as well. One of my favourite areas. But hey, again, for this quest, simple work, and another one combat skill point for doing not too much. So, for Hummingbird Beak, this is a quest chain which starts at the northeast of the Northern Wheat Plantation, and you see it marked on the map as a windmill. Now, the quest chain starts with doing a large wheat plantation, but what you're actually seeing me do on the screen here is Death of the Cows. Now, 
when you have to do death of the cows if you're doing this on an alt you've probably already done it but you just have to go inspect the cow in front of the guy to gain knowledge on it now once you've done it you can hand that in and speak to him again and he's going to give you a quest called hummingbird beak now as you can imagine all what you have to do here is go kill some hummingbirds and get the beak now the hummingbird beak is a 30% drop chance so hopefully you can get it in three maybe four and in fact i got pretty lucky thank you are and jesus who gave me it in one go which is lovely so again, these are really low level mobs. If you're most likely doing this at the past 50 mark because you've forgotten to do things and you're trying to get a few more points, but you go up, kill it, and hey, one combat skill point. Yes, we'd prefer it to be two or three, but hey, really easy and not too much work. That's what we like. So, for the next quest, Annoying Locust Swarms, again, this is another quest chain that you have to do first. Now, I'm going to do it in the background, but I'm going to speed through this for obvious reasons, because, hey, it can get a bit dull. But the first quest that you're going to end up doing is going to the Node Manager, which is Norma. And Norma's going to have a quest for you, which is called Helping Wagon Victims. Now, in that quest, it's pretty straightforward. You only have to run over and speak to an NPC, Zavidath. Zavid, oh what a lovely name, Zavil, 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 we'll go with that. Now when you speak to Zavil, he's also then going to give you another quest. And he's going to give you a quest called Huge and Identified Hole. Now in this quest, again, nothing too challenging, luckily, you have to go meet another NPC. And you're going to speak to a guy called Malik. Now after you've handed that quest in, you don't have to pick up the next quest. All what you have to do after that is is run northwest and you're going to go into the little field and in this little field you're going to see a soldier and the soldier is going to give you a quest called annoying locust swarm now annoyingly for us this quest was something that we did in one of the previous ones well not this exact quest but one of the tasks for it which makes it pretty simple so anyway the only thing you have to do is gain knowledge of the locust swarms and trust me you've already done that or you most likely already done it from doing the other quest in this guide so hey it's really really simple you speak to him and he's going to give you that and hey i'm not going to complain because this one yeah we've just had one of this guide gives us two whole combat skill points two combat skill points for killing some locusts which you've probably already done anyway so fantastic easy peasy that's what we like Okay, for the quest, those who hurt people, we're going to look for a nurse called Priya, and as you see, she's just north of Keplan. Now, when you go speak to Priya, she's going to tell you, obviously, that she wants to get some revenge on those who hurt people. Now, she's going to give you a quest, and this quest gives you a combat skill point. Yeah, just one, but hey, it's not a hard one. Now, when you get the quest, you're going to have to kill a range of things. For a start, you're going to have to kill 10 junk golems. You're going to have to kill 10 golem spiders. You're going to have to kill 10 stone crabs. You've only got to kill 5 rock spiders though. And finally, you've only got to kill 5 sharp rock spiders. So it's not too bad. But compared to a lot of these other quests, I thought this was quite a lot of killing. And I thought for only one combat skill point, you know... I felt a little bit hard done by, I'm not going to lie, but I think that's because I've got so used to now when we're going through these videos, getting combat skill points for literally just talking to people because we've done the work before. So I suppose I shouldn't complain. And hey, you know, I've got a blackstone armor in it, you know, can't complain too much. But still, a nice easy quest. Now, this wasn't so hard to find, but if you ever do struggle to find some of these quest givers or NPCs, if you go into the top right hand corner, you see your magnifying glass where it says NPC. It is worth trying to type in the names sometimes. And when you type in the names, it will actually take you to the person who you're looking for, presuming that you've already spoke to them in the past. Now, it's very easy sometimes when you've been around and speaking to people, because obviously the more people you speak to, the more energy you can gain. You've probably already got knowledge of them, but you may not have just taken notice of who they were. But anyway, so just in case you're wondering, that's what you can do if you ever get lost trying to find it. If not, you can always pause the video and see. But hey, there we go. One easy quest, one combat skill point. Not too bad, a little bit more work, but hey, one combat skill point. I cannot complain. So, for the quest Frenzied Creatures, I've put this in really because I'd already done it before, but it's such a good quest to do. 
Almost what you have to do is go over to the Marnie's lab and speak to Barva at the top. And he's going to give you a quest called Frenzied Creatures. Now in this you have to kill 10 mad scientists, 10 screaming sawnills, 10 harpies and 10 orc wizards. But this is a really, really simple quest and it does give you one combat skill point. Now I remember doing this while I was leveling, which is why I felt the need to put it in. But definitely do it, it's a really simple and fun quest. So, for the quest wipe them out, you're going to have to go for a little quest chain. But as you see, it's going to start just outside Kepland and by the bridge. You're going to see a soldier. Now, when you speak to the soldier, he's going to give you a quest called To the Glutoni Dwelling. Now, this is a really good little quest to get you there because it means I don't have to describe how to get there because it can be an absolute pain. So I'm so glad that something else does it for me. But anyway, once you take that quest, it's really simple because all you have to do is just follow the quest chain. Now, when you actually get into the cave itself, you have to speak to an NPC called Anna. Now, Anna's going to give you a chain of quests to do. The first being a mutant raid. Now, in the mutant raid, it's a pretty simple and straightforward quest where you just have to kill three of the mutant Glutoni. I'm pretty sure that's how it's called. But either way, it's a really simple and easy quest to do. Now, once that started and finished, you get to go on to the next part of the chain. The next part is called Mom and Child. Now, of course, Mom, for me to say, is very strange. You know, being English, we do say Mum with a U, but still, you know, Mom, Mom and Child. Either way, it's again quite an easy one. And I suppose it's a bit shame because you're killing the little ones. But anyway, you're going to kill this time three of the medium-sized Glutoni and ten of the young Glutoni. Now, this cave is a bit of a pain because sometimes you're going back and forth. And the mobs aren't necessarily always spawning where you want them to spawn. Or they're going to be really far apart. But hey, it's not too bad. You get it done quite easily without too much of a, uh, you know, a bit of a headache. Now, once you've got that one done, the next one that you have to do is when you go back and hand it in, again, all to Anna. She's going to give you another quest called What an Alchemist Needs. Now, again, it's another kill one, but this time you have to get quest items. Now, you're going to have to pick up three items from the Mutant Glutonies. Now, that's got a 45% chance drop, so you're probably going to kill six. And again, you have to get three items from the Medium-Sized Glutoni. Again, a 45% chance. So you're probably going to have to kill six. Now the next one, hey, they've mixed it up this time. Well done down. But you have to kill five. Oh, actually, you might have to kill ten. You have to get five drops from the Lung Gatoni. Now that is on a 45% drop chance. So again, like I said, you might have to kill ten. It's not too bad, but I found this to be one of the longer parts of this quest chain. Now, finally, we're getting to what we really want. When you hand that in, she's going to give you the quest, wipe them out. Now, this is sort of like the end of this little bit here, and it's not too bad. You're going to have to kill two of the big Glutoni, which you've probably killed plenty of by now, ironically enough. Then you have to kill ten of the medium-sized Glutoni, three of the mutant Glutoni, and three... 15 of the young Glutoni. Now when you've gone through that rigorous process, and it does feel rigorous, I'm not going to lie, it does sometimes feel a little bit long, you will get one combat skill point. Now I do understand that that is quite a hefty quest chain to go through to get one combat skill point, but hey, you know what, it's worth it, it's a bit of fun, and keep in mind every time you're fighting, you're getting your combat XP anyway. So as you're leveling up or as you're attacking things, you're always getting a little bit of combat XP. So it doesn't hurt to get these little bonuses. You will recover to your energy. And also, I did find it quite interesting because doing it this time, you also got to pick up some flares for the previous quest, which was quite nice. So I've got them ready for the next Siege War because it's always fun to have them. Anyway, so there you go. Wipe them out, one combat skill point. Still not too bad. Thanks, Anna. So, for Defeat Petrified Miners, this quest is on Kepland. Now, it's actually not in Kepland. You have to go a little bit southeast to get up onto the hill. Now, on the hill, you're going to see a rock. And on that rock, you're going to see an NPC. And that NPC is called Kepland Scout Sam. And Sam's going to give us a lovely little quest. Now, sadly, Sam is a little bit tight. He's only going to give us one combat skill point for all the work we're going to do for him. But hey, at least he's going to give us a bit of beer and, or, or soup or fish or stew. But let's be fair. 
we're probably going to get the beer off him. Anyway, what has Sam asked us to do? Sam has quite easily asked us to go kill 45 of these petrified miners. Now, these are all over the place, though they're also, well, it also feels like they're quite spread out at the same time. This actually, surprisingly enough, felt like it took me quite a while to do. So even when I was fast forwarding this, and I even had this at the start at 150%, it still didn't feel quick. But hey, maybe it's because I didn't know the spot. In fact, it was so strange I could see groups or packs on the minimap, but I had no idea how to get to them. And when I finally worked out how to get on top of some of these barrackses or mountains, whatever, they just weren't there. But hey, you know what? It's not the end of the world. It's all in light for one combat skill point, so I can't complain too much. Anyway, so once you've gone around and killed your 45 petrified miners, you can go back to Sam and Sam is going to give you one whole contribution skill point. He's going to recover you two energy because he's a nice guy and you're going to get some contribution XP. Still, quite a simple quest really. It's a little bit long-winded I thought for one combat skill point. But again, it goes back to the fact we've been getting rewarded crazy combat skill points for doing such little work. And this one just felt hard in comparison. Not hard in how tough the exercise was, but just as a matter of time and persistence. But still, after grinding Triants or Ogres or wherever you're grinding, this feels like a walk in the park, it really does. Anyway, one combat skill point. Thank you very much, Sam. So, for the quest strengthening mushrooms, we're going to go east of the Delthonite Castle. And you're going to see this little bridge on the map here. And when you go there, you're going to see a little encampment. Now, by the lake, you're going to see this large rock, and you're going to speak to the NPC called Adventurer. Now, you need to speak to him first, because he's going to give you a quest called Scouting Brady Fortress. Now, this is something where you just have to get knowledge of the place. So, as you can see, for me, it was just a matter of speaking to him and already accepting the quest, because I've done it before. But if not, all you have to do is just run up to Brady Fortress, have a look at it, and you get the knowledge. Now, what are we here for? We're here for strengthening mushrooms. Now, when you speak to this, guy again he's going to give you a quest and this is the one we want because it's two contribution skill points hey finally now when you get this quest all you have to do is go north a little bit and you're going to start having to kill some of these red orcs so the firewood orcs you're going to have to get one item from them and it's a 10% drop chance so you're potentially going to have to kill 10 you're going to have to get one quest item from the red orc berserker again a 10% drop chance you're going to have to kill another 10 and finally a one item from the red orc elite soldiers again a 10% look chance so you're gonna have to kill 10 potentially now it's not so bad because realistically you could do this in three kills do it in 30 I don't know you could do it in quite a few but it's not too bad now after doing all of this you're gonna go back to him and he's gonna give you some contribution XP great he's gonna offer you two of whatever items he's got which again I just take beer to feed the workers but this is what we're going for two combat skill points again for doing not too much and this is great i love these quests these quests give you so much for such little work and okay when you power level up a character you do miss a lot of these and these quests add up so much So there we go, another 10 quests to get 12 easy combat skill points. Now I hope you've been enjoying this series. Now sadly, I think this is going to be the penultimate video for this series. I've only got a few quests left on my list which give combat skill points, which aren't sort of class specific, so basically there aren't black spirit quests. Now obviously I'll do them, we will go through them, but this is probably the last major chunk of these. So what I'd like to ask is if you've got any other ideas of things that you're interested in, please say, as you know I've been working on my taboos tips videos to help us find or help us learn some additional things that we may have skipped when going through the game. But if anything like this comes up, please let me know if there's anything missing. I know I've had requests to find some daily quests which give skill points as well, or at least that gives skill point percentages. And I've already been working on that and that will hopefully come out shortly as well. But anything at all you can think of, please feel free to message me, leave a comment. I do read them all and I'll get back to you. Anyway, 10 quests, 12 contribution points, easy work. Anyway, thanks for watching and hopefully I'll see you at the next video. Bye.